today we were talking about the results of the Nebraskans speak about the early care and education workforce in which we found that Nebraskans value the early childhood workforce, those teachers and caregivers who are taking care of children between birth through grade three. We know that one of the most important things in a child's life is the relationship they have with adults. Because we have so many children in Nebraska in these settings outside their homes, those professionals are the ones who are building those relationships, helping children learn those academic skills, cognitive skills, and most importantly, those social emotional skills that they need when they go to school and they succeed in life beyond that. But we really see it as an investment that's needed for the future workforce. Are we missing the opportunity for the physician of the future or a nurse or the medical technologist? And uh, there's such a need for those professions and so many other professions in our community. I don't think we can afford to lose one child. Uh, it's really an investment that the business community, I think, is seeing as necessary for the long-term future. I hope Nebraskans realize that this is a great place to live, it's a great place to have children, and that the kid down the street is, is part of our community, and it is every student every day. We need to make sure it's not, I'm going to take care of my kid, but those kids down the street that may be in poverty, they may be an English language learner, maybe there is some neglect or abuse in the home, it isn't just someone else's child. That child is a valuable part of our community and given appropriate early childhood education, that, that person really can grow up to be a, a valuable part of our workforce and someone in a community that can be a valuable contributor to civic life. We need to pull together as a state and really think about these issues and the solutions. We cannot put the burden on families. We know the cost of child care is very high for families with young children. We sympathize with how hard it is for them to make ends meet. But we also know we can't put the burden on the state and on our school systems. They can't take care of all of these kids. We can't increase our tax dollars to do all of this. So we have to come together to really think about these complex issues and come up with the answers that are right for us as a state. And at the Buffett Institute, we're really committed to providing that support that these professionals need as they do this.